welcome into my freckle love office. I am Martha Barnett. If this is your first time joining me, I am so glad that you're here. I am going to do a quick, um, easy five minute, we'll hope, um, fall look for today. I'm repping my pumpkin spice fall t-shirt today. I've got some errands to run. Um, so I just wanna do a quick, simple look. Um, and we'll see how this goes. Uh, as many of you know, I live in the heart of farmland and they are taking off crops today. And so um, it's very loud. And of course my dogs love it, but that also means that they're constantly barking. I have five beagles. And anytime anything moves outside, they think they need to warn the neighborhood about it. So a little serum there. I'm gonna do a little bit of eye cream because I feel like I really, really need it today. Ah, oh, there we go. And I'm getting ready for a big craft show tomorrow. A little lip mask. Which I normally do at night, but because it was in this room and not in the bathroom, I completely forgot it last night. So we'll just do it right now. All right, so let's get going on some face primer. I'm gonna use the original today. Somewhere I have the hydrating, which I actually need, the moisturizing, which I actually need. I may be out of it. I may have to order some more um, for this time of year because it's starting to get colder and that means my skin gets drier and tends to get dull. But we'll go with the original for right now. a little bit of foundation. So nothing fancy in my look today, just, just enough that I don't scare anybody as I'm out and about. By the way, yesterday they started um, the new holiday drinks at Starbucks. If you know me, you know I am a huge Starbucks fan and the holiday drinks are my favorite. Yes, I love a good pumpkin spice latte. I am a PSL girl, but even more, I love the holiday drinks at Christmas time. My all time favorite is peppermint mocha. In fact, I use peppermint mocha creamer year round. I know some people think that's really weird, but I love it that much. And I was so lucky. My local grocery store is a Kroger brand. And my middle son um, has worked there since he was in high school. And he, back several years ago, probably five years ago or so, was in the dairy department. And I asked him when Christmas was over if there was any possible way he could get the peppermint mocha creamer, even though it was past Christmas. And he said, let me see what I can do for you. Well, he was able to get it and our local Kroger started carrying it year round. And now I know a lot of the stores do, they carry it year round. And now I use it year round. So I was really lucky because that is my absolute favorite. I love anything chocolate, but I also love mint. So putting those two together, yeah, just perfect. So I've not had one of the Starbs drinks for the year, they just started, um, putting them out yesterday, I guess. And I, I didn't go anywhere yesterday. I worked at home most of the day and then I had my grandson in the afternoon and evening. So I didn't actually go out. So I did not get a chance to get one. But today, as I'm running errands, I am gonna rectify that. So just a little bit of brow powder here. Shape up those brows. The blush I used was Surreal, that is my go-to color. I wasn't using that color during the summer, I used a little bit um, lighter color. It was a little more pinky peach color that I used. I used either Seductive or Stunning uh, during the summer more. Um, Surreal is just a little bit more mauve, I guess you would say. One spot right there I cannot get, there we go. I think I got it. Um, and it's my favorite color. So now that it's fall, I am back to using the Surreal. 
Uh, my brow color is of course auburn. And now let's go to Addiction Palette 10, which is the newest and my absolute favorite. Um, let's do a little eye primer first. So you can see, I'm just keeping things very neutral, nothing fancy, nothing super glam today, just kind of a an everyday kind of look. And I believe, now if you've never seen um, Palette 10 before, let me explain to you. This palette is designed in such a great way. It is foolproof. I love this about it. If you're one of those people like me who cannot coordinate colors to save your life, um, you don't have to. With this one, you can choose any three colors going vertically, horizontally, diagonally, or you can choose the three corners like this and they'll match. They'll go together, perfect. You'll have a light, medium, and dark. Problem solved, easy, easy peasy. So let me decide which one I'm gonna go with today. Mm, let's see, which one will go good with my... Oh, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I don't know if I've tried this one before. I'm gonna go straight down the middle vertically. There's this dark chocolate color. There's this lovely kind of a grayish green. I think that would look good with my pumpkin spice today. And then there's this really light champagne color. And if I grab my glasses, I can tell you the actual names of these colors. They do have names. Um, it is pleasing, busy, and re resilient. Pleasing, busy, and resilient are those color names. So I am gonna start with the resilient over my whole lid, and I'm gonna use a nice big fluffy brush for that. So that's gonna go just over the whole lid just to kind of give me a base color. Now the nice thing is because I've put that eye primer on there, it's just the slightest bit tacky. So this powder is just gonna stick right to my eyelid. It's not gonna budge, it's not gonna go anywhere. This is the great thing about this primer. You put this on under any eyeshadow and it's staying there all day. I feel like I just need a little bit more on this side. I feel like they're uneven. Uh, I'm a fan of the BBC um, program Glow Up. And I know Val and Dominic, the two judges on the program, they're always preaching symmetry, 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 symmetry. And of course, my eyes are not symmetrical, but they're always preaching about, you know, application techniques should be symmetrical. So now let's go in that busy color. That's this kind of a greenish gray, I would call it. And I'm going to put that right in the middle of my lid. Just right in here. I'm gonna start at the crease and go all the way down to the lid, just in the middle. I'm not gonna to go to the outer edge and I'm not gonna to go towards my inner corner, just like that. Now this is just one way of doing the three colors. I mean, there are lots of different ways. There, are, You can look online, you can go on Pinterest and you'll see if you have close set eyes, if you have far set eyes, if you have hooded eyes. I mean, there's all different ways of putting the different uh, light, medium, dark shades on your eyes. But this is just one that I think is pretty easy to do. It's quick, it's pretty simple, it's pretty foolproof. Looks good on just about anybody. Now I'm gonna go into that, what was that first color called? pleasing. That's that dark chocolate color. And I'm going to use a stubby little dense brush for this. And I'm going to just go right on this outside edge. And I'm going to go up to the crease and then out towards the outer corner. And then I'm going to turn the corner and come back towards my lower lashes. Kind of in a sideways V shape. Again, this is just one way of doing it, but this one I think tends to look good on just about anybody. I don't know if you can hear that machinery rolling past, but man, is it loud. I was teaching this morning and they started at 8.30 on the dot, I can tell you. <laughs> I heard it, I was like, oh boy, here we go. All right, so now I'm gonna take that big fluffy brush back again and I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna blend that in. So you don't see any big, you know, super dark lines. And, oh, I forgot, I'm gonna take a little tiny eyeliner brush and I'm gonna go back to that dark chocolate, that pleasing color. And I'm gonna add just a bit of that right here along underneath my lower lashes. 
And rather than using an eyeliner, I'm just gonna smudge a little bit of that under there. There we go. Okay, now let's grab some lash primer. Oh, oops, as I drop it. And knock things over, goodness. One coat of lash primer on here. This lash primer is great. It's just like a face primer or eyelid primer. It preps the lashes, it helps the mascara stay on longer, helps it adhere better. It also conditions your lashes because it has conditioners in it. If you think about it, your lashes are hair. So it helps to condition them and it will also help your mascara do its job. So since I'm gonna be using the 4D, it's gonna help my lashes look even bigger, thicker, fuller, all the good stuff, you know. So let me wait just a minute while I'm waiting on that to dry. I am going to grab my Sunday brunch lip butter, which I barely have any left. I just ordered a new one. And I'm just gonna wear that as my lip color today because it is nice and moisturizing. And a little bit of mascara. And we're gonna go with a little bit of setting powder just to keep everything where it's supposed to go. And I don't know on the time, let's see, I've been on here 11 minutes, but I've been doing a lot of talking. So hopefully the application actually wouldn't have taken me more than about five minutes. 10 minutes out the outside worst, I guess we could say. That still isn't much time when you consider you know, we're all trying to get ready fast in the mornings. Trying to get out the door. All right, now I'm gonna go back probably and add a second coat later, but for now, let's just put a little bit on the lower lashes. There we go. A little bit of setting powder. This is translucent, so it doesn't add any color. It only adds powder to keep everything set where it is supposed to be so nothing smudges, smears, goes anywhere it's not supposed to. All right. And there, my friends, you have it. That is my quick five-ish or so minute face for a nice fall day just to get me out the door ready to run some errands. So as usual, if you have any questions, please feel free to pop them down below or message me. If you found any value in this tutorial today, I hope that you will follow, like, subscribe, give me a heart, give me some love, and I welcome you to come back again. Thanks for joining me, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.